while I was going through X or Mastodon, I can't remember which one, very recently at night, as I do before I go to sleep, for some reason, reading those platforms makes me sleepy. Draw your own conclusions from that. I came across a, a post from Stefano Marinelli, which I, I can't find now, which is about right for me. And it was regarding how he, he set up his website using a product called Hugo, which I've got to be honest, it's fantastic. I really like it. It's so simple. Yes, it's a command line driven content management system. If that's the best way to put it, I'm not sure it is. It's not new by any stretch of the imagination, but I find it so much better than WordPress. It integrates Git into it, so you've got versioning control. I just, I really like it. Should we have a look? So one of the best things about building with Hugo is that it's very quick. I mean, the, the pages load so quickly. And to give you an idea, and I, I recently built my website on this, to give you a, a quick demonstration, hopefully none of this is cached, so it shouldn't be affecting it too much that way. But let's have a quick look at my website. It just loads so quickly. I really like it. So easy to use. It's all done with... I guess the best way of describing them is macros. They're not macros. They they call it something else. Short codes and markdown. So I, it, it uses markdown as let's let's get into it and have a look because it's probably going to be easier if I show you the the markdown and and how short codes work. And, and we'll go through setting it up from from scratch. Now I'm not going to get into how you configure your web server because that is all dependent on which one you use. Personally, I use Nginx. It's just the one I like, but you can quite easily use um, Apache or HTTPD, any of them. As long as it can serve static websites and web pages, you're golden. It's good. It's good. So just a quick look. Here is, this is what I'm going to set it up on. So here's the the beta for my GaryHTech.uk domain. All set up. There's the root. Let's, let's get it set up. So at the moment, what it should serve is almost a, a blank page. So let's have a quick look. Let's just put in beta. Yes, beta, not beta. There you go. So nothing there. We're in the right direction, in the right directory. There's nothing in it. It's completely empty. There we go. So I'm just going to go through the, the bits that you need. So there's two things you need to install to get this working. And that is Hugo itself, which is package add Hugo and git. So package, not package add, package install git and package install Hugo. Simple as that. So once you've got that done, we can CD, we're in that right directory, as you can see. So let's check out our Hugo version. There we go. Simple. And let's add a site. Hugo new site and give it a site name. And we're going to call it. There we go. So once we've done that. Right. So we're in here. Interesting. Let's do that again. So we've added our site, let's CD into it, and there's everything we need. Let's get in it, here we go. Let's get a theme. Now there are a lot of themes for Hugo. Let's check them out. Let's get one that we like, just for this. Might go with this one for now. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get that, shall we? And it tells us what to do. So let's bung that in there first. We want to add a sub module. So let's bung that in in front of our theme. Oh, I'm going to space there. Let's do it properly, Gary. And we want that in the themes slash and then the name of the theme, which is Hugo Blocks Builder. There we go. We're getting it. Gets a funny beast, doesn't it? So we go into themes now. There it is. So we've got our theme. Let's add it in and to do that we need to edit the hugo.toml so use your favorite uh, text editor mine happens to be pico you can use nano you can use whatever you like it doesn't matter so let's change our base url <clears throat> which in my instance is beta.garyhtech.uk we're going to change that to uk and change the name of the site which is beta.garyhtech.uk 
tech.uk. And we're just going to add in what theme to use. And all it is, is that and then the theme path or part of it anyway, which in this case is that. That's all we need in there. So once we've done that, if we just type in Hugo, it builds everything. So if we change into our public uh, directory, we've got no index.html. So if we CD into our content, actually, let's go into the themes first. And let's have a look at the readme. Right, there we go. So we want this URL. Hopefully that will be enough for us. Let's have a quick look. Customize custom theme. Here we go. Right. So we need to add an index.md. So underscore index MD. So let's go into our content folder and add that. Now, what you will find in the templates. Okay, so what you'll find in the theme is some already set up templates for this. So if we go th copy theme, <laughs> copy theme, Hugo Builder, starter, is it stars? Yep. Landing, page, content, and then index and copy it. We've got our index. So we can look at that and we can modify it. So this will give you all those macros that I was talking about, those short codes that it uses. So we'll just go through and edit this and then we'll build it and see what it looks like on our web server. Oh, do it in the right place, Gary. So we go Hugo. Badoing. So now, when we refresh our page, because it was forbidden before, and it's still forbidden now. Why is that? Because it hasn't built it. Why not? Why didn't it build it? Or did it? What have I missed out? Interesting. Okay, let's add the theme that I am using. Maybe it's a problem with the theme. So this is the theme that I've been using. I wonder if something's missing in that theme. Okay, right, so... Let's change it to, I think it needs to be just split, doesn't it? So we look at my one. Yeah, split. Okay. Right. So we're just going to put in, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that one. So we'll just use the one that I have been using because I know it works. All right. So let's go into our content and remove that. And we don't want that. But we will create an index.md. And we'll just put in some basic stuff. Now, as I said, in the themes, there are a few bits in here. So if we go into the tests, there's two examples, one with an image, one without, that has a video instead. So we'll go examples with image, and we'll just have a look at the hugo.toml because it's got all the stuff in it. So let's have a look at content. And there are the files that we want. So we go underscore index.md and it's a nice little template, nice and easy. So we'll just bung this in for now and this will go into our underscore index file. So there we go. We don't need all those line breaks. Let's do that. And then go Hugo, which will build everything. You can always tell what kind of day it's going to be, can't you? Failed to load modules. Module split, not found. In themes, split. Yeah, there's a reason for that. There isn't one called split. Have I done this completely differently? I have. That's why. I think it's complaining about this. Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't follow the instructions and you try to do it your own way. Follow the instructions. Do it with the right naming. And it should work. <laughs> Let's take a look at the website. There we go. There's my, temp my template. Now, not much in it because I didn't change any of it. Any of it. But we can, can just change that now. So if we go back to our SSH, we go into content. We change the title. Can't speak or do anything today. I'm not kidding. Right, let's do that. Do it in the right place. Ding dong. So if we have a look at this, there we go. 
Now we can change all of these things with the various configurations which are located in the theme itself. So if we go into our tests and we go into, ah, see what I mean? There is everything we need and can use to customize. So we can customize the copyright. We can customize the Google Analytics. We can change the favicon and the visuals. Now the visuals is really good because this, if we put this, all right, I'll, I'll give you an example. So if we put this into our own Hugo.toml, here we go. So if we go with bada boom, and then we, you will see, it's absolutely not there. Now, what we can do is create a folder called images. Right, let's upload a picture. Backgrounds.jpg. Might have to change that because I'm pretty sure it's a PNG. Yeah, so let's change it. So let's change that to PNG, rebuild the site and see if that's worked. It may not be in the right place. There we go. So we put it into public images and there it is. No favicon, which is interesting. So let's just check why there's no favicon. So themes, where's our favicon? And why? because we haven't got that in it. So let's bring a favicon in. And that's also in the images. We still don't have a favicon. Interesting. There it is. So nice little heart. We can change that. So that's really all there is to it. You, you just play around with those configuration files and have a look at what bits and bobs you want. You can create pages. The coffee's cold. It's not a cold coffee drinker. You can create pages. You can create posts. There are even plugins to create photo albums. That, that I'm sure there are plugins out there for, or modules uh, for um, online shops. A whole lot. I like this. I like it a lot. I like that it uses Git for versioning control. It just makes things so simple. Even though I've done a very convoluted way of looking at it, it, it really does make it simple. Once you pick up on those basics, it just boom, 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 boom. The only problems you'll ever come across are problems with Git, I would suspect. But there's a whole host of information out there for Git. So it shouldn't be a huge problem. I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to do all the things down there as as per. I may come back and have a look at this again and see what we really can do with it because like I said, you can do extensive stuff with this and it's just a, a case of doing it and playing with it and learning and reading and it, it's just great fun. It takes all the guesswork out of using HTML. Don't forget to check out the Discord server. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, oh, who, you're not going to forget, are you? If you've made it this far, you probably already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.